driving to my friend Rumi. She is in a little rehab clinic because she got into a car accident. She was T-boned. She broke a bunch of shit. So now she's in this little rehabilitation place that smells like shit. And I'm going to see her. And our friend Brad is going to be there. Hopefully. I mean, he's on his way. So as long as he doesn't get into it. I never want to say, like, that something is definite because you never know if, you know, some, some horrible um, accident might take place instead of, you know, your desired plans. Or maybe undesired plans. Sometimes people wish that an accident would happen so that they don't have to do whatever they're supposed to do. Um, Goodness. Are they honking at me? I don't think so. I don't know what they're honking at though. That's okay. It, it's gone. They left. They left, Amy. They left. Calm down. Uh, yeah, but I did stand up tonight and I was just expecting it to be terrible. And every time I expect it to be terrible, I do really, really well. So. I know that I've said that multiple times. That I need to just expect things to be bad. I mean, I, I believe that I've, I've uh, used that as a life philosophy, essentially. Like, just expect things to not be good. And then you'll be pleasantly surprised whenever they are. I mean, I just don't expect very much out of life. Like, I don't expect life to not disappoint me. And the reason for that is because um, life is really hard. That's a positive message right there. No, they just turn right. They're allowed to do that. Never underestimate the power of a common word or deed. It's very true. And that kind word or deed can be the one thing that gives somebody hope. You know? Like, you just have no idea. I know that I need to do comedy more. Like, I should pursue it. But I feel like if I pursued it as some sort of career, it would take all the fun out of it. And I mean, I'm not really having fun. I really don't enjoy um, this grueling experience of, you know, signing up for these crap open mics and then You know, waiting around to go on. And just listening to set after set after set about sex or abortion or, you know, homosexual behavior. It's like... That's what America is all about now. It's just like degenerate nation. And... I hate that I sound so judgmental if I'm ever so slightly critical of it, but it's just a constant thing, you know? Like, you see it on TikTok all the time, and here's the thing, I don't have a smartphone, I don't do TikTok, I don't watch that shit when I go home on my laptop, I do nothing but upload all my videos, because I'm too busy making content to worry about somebody else's content. I mean, sometimes I wish that I had more time so that I could you know, watch other people's shit, 
because I feel like it would be somewhat beneficial, but because I know what I'm supposed to do, I just don't want to waste any more time. Not that it's a waste of time watching other people's shit. I keep telling myself that I'll do that and then I don't do it and I feel bad, but here's the thing, I have a whole day off tomorrow and I'm going to a baby shower, so hopefully after this baby shower I'll get some shit done. See, I'm out of the lull right now. So, any artist knows about the lull. They know how fucking terrible that shit is. And it's the period of productivity, or unproductivity, rather. It's a... Okay. That makes sense. There's always somebody turning if you see people slowing down, or they're just old as fuck. Um... But, uh... What was I fucking talking about? Damn it! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what I was talking about. It happens all the time. Ooh. An ambulance. Alright, that's a fire truck, Amy. What the fuck are you doing? That is an ambulance. Well, I don't really understand when they got their fucking sirens on why they're not going. Like, you had all these other cars, like, pulled over specifically to let them go, and they were just being a fucking slowpoke, but you're an ambulance driver. I don't know, maybe they're drunk. That would be really funny if they were. It wouldn't surprise me at all if every government official or people working for the government in some form or fashion, it wouldn't surprise me if they were all drunk. In fact, I wouldn't even judge them for it. If it anyway... I was talking about something so, so profound. I know, I know it had to be profound. Um, oh. Uh, people's sets being terrible. <laughs> you don't want to, you, you know you need to do comedy, but you don't want to do comedy. You were really productive this week, though. Yes, I was extremely productive. The lol. I was trying to talk about that. So most people deal with the lol by watching TV. Or by, what does that one say? Trinity, Presbyterian, good ending, Reverend Sally Hughes. Uh-uh, female pastor. No, no, no. It's a reverend, Amy. It's a reverend. Is that what they call them? Is that what they call them when, when a woman is preaching? They call them a reverend? <laughs> you know, if maybe they called female preachers like really, really sexist names, I wouldn't mind so much. Because then at least we would know, okay, they're aware of the fact that they don't care about certain parts of the scripture. They're aware of the fact that they're spitting in the face of God. That's fine. That's fine. I don't think that's their intention, though. I'm sure that they're good, but... The fact that they're going against the scripture and then they want to be like, it's outdated. There's no such thing as time in the Bible. That's why the Bible's so offensive. That's why they have to fuck with it, because it's timeless. It literally applies to everything. I talked about that shit tonight, a little bit. Yeah, you actually did talk some conspiratorial shit. I did. Well, the thing is, I had conspiracy theorists in the room, so they got my shit. I feel like it doesn't matter if, if you know that there are people in the audience that get you. It doesn't count anywhere near as much as when you know that they don't get you. I should take the win, but I won't. 